If you're really, really, really gonna change your lifestyle and get help, I mean, that's amazing. But I can't like get back together with you until I see you right, doing cool, it. All right, cool. Then we're not getting back together. It's very simple. I'm no. not just gonna base getting back together off of your words because I based everything off of your words and it didn't work. So you're not even gonna try. I spent three years with you telling me all this bullshit. I thought it was gonna be like a getting back together meeting, but I sat down and you know I start telling her the positive steps I had been taking in life and the stuff that I was proud of. And as I start to tell her, and you can see how excited I am because this is some stuff she used to read me out and be like, this is why we can't be. So I was like, here's the answer. I'm doing what you said. And she just instantly like just cuts me down. I was like, no, you're not. You're lying. When he told me that he had, he was hiring a life coach and all this stuff and he was changing and everything. And I literally five minutes before I got there had heard that he was out all night. Very good, good to see you all. I'm glad we could all have a night out together. Yeah. All right. Cheers. <laughs> so of course I came in to the restaurant and meeting him already fired up because I was like, this is bullshit. You were just so, waiting for him to mess up. Yeah. If I've learned anything from Naomi this year is that the woman is strong willed. We saw that with JD. I was like, oh damn, Naomi's giving him the business right now. And it's like when she broke up with you, she had it set in her head, Craig and I are done. Yeah, but so that's I not, think that okay. you going, that's not right. That's not a healthy but mindset. Like she had a different, you know, mindset, you know, going into it, thought that y'all were just meeting up. Was there any hope to get back together from that meeting? I probably was still harboring some type of hope, but realistically I knew it was probably impossible for him to change. So I think when you are so different from your partner that Everything starts to bug you. And then like when you realize that when they sneeze, it pisses you off, you understand <laughs> it's like really time to just <laughs> cut things off.